New York Giants head coach Brian Dable sort of sent a shockwave across the landscape this week when he said he wasn't ruling out the possibility of giving backup quarterback Tyrod Taylor some snaps with the first team offense at some point this preseason. Dable, in his explanation of his thought process to reporters, noted that if he makes that decision, it is in no way a reflection of incumbent Daniel Jones, who has had an up and down showing so far this summer. Yeah, he'll get, you know, as we get going here in, in terms of the preseason games, um, you know, we'll talk about whatever we think is best. Uh, but, you know, I have full confidence in Daniel and, and full confidence in Tyrod and what his role is. Um, each day we'll, we sit there, we evaluate the guys, but, uh, you know, will he get a few reps here or there? He might. I mean, I learned from a pretty good coach a while ago. You know, usually he doesn't tell those guys when he throws them in because that's what the backup's job role is, is you have to go in in a split second and not like, you know, you prepare like you're a starter, but, you know, fourth play of the game, something happens, you're in, you got to be ready to go. So, you know, I don't necessarily think we'll tell, tell those guys when that'll happen. Jones has been one of the most polarizing figures on this Giants team of late, with people either fully behind him or fully behind the team getting rid of him after this season. But let's stick to the storyline for a moment here. For one, Dable has been very meticulous in his planning of training camp practice drills. For example, there was a drill on Tuesday in which the quarterbacks were purposely underthrowing the receivers who were tasked at adjusting to the ball. Yet to the observer who might have been unaware of the drill's purpose, it might have looked like the quarterbacks just couldn't hit the side of a barn with the ball. And while others might argue that Taylor, who is a seasoned veteran quarterback, knows how to prepare and can be counted on to be ready at a moment's notice, it's also worth noting that this is a new offense for him, working with new receivers, some of whom he doesn't get as much of a chance to throw to during a practice as Jones does. So, no, there isn't a quarterback controversy, despite how this looks, at least not right now. This is simply a matter of Brian Dable trying to dot his I's and cross his T's when it comes to preparing the team for the regular season. And just for argument's sake, what happens if Taylor outplays Jones in whatever snaps he does get? The answer is absolutely nothing. The Giants are committed to giving Jones a long look to convince them of his worthiness of a long-term commitment. And one preseason game showing, no matter how tempting it might be, isn't likely to change that if the backup quarterback comes in and balls out.